I know this is a shock to you, noob noob, but I think the critical drinker may have drank too much, and he might actually be wrong. I'd like to have him rescue my damsel in distress. Oh my god. That's right, friends. We're going to talk about the critical drinker. And he, he reviewed Damsel. And I'm going to say, as someone who actually watched this freaking movie, critical drinker might be wrong. And from someone who didn't watch this movie... I'm going to say nothing because I didn't watch this movie. Wow. That's a lot of contribution Except you Millie offered Bobby there. Brown is kind of hot from the neck down. Sometimes. What, not, what? Not the face up? No, her face is not great. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So I was... The, the interesting thing is I have a previous video on this where I do a full spoiler review. And I guess this will have full spoilers as well. Where... Uh, Disparu reviews the movie with not having seen it. And it's weird because the woke critics like IGN hate this. And then the non-woke critics like Critical Trinker hate this and Disparu hate this. And I'm like, am I missing something here? It's fine as a movie. It's not like an A or an A plus or a B. It's or a Netflix score. Yeah, it's like a C C minus like every Netflix movie. Yeah, it's like it's a fine. If you liked Enola Holmes, you'll like this. If you're a Millie Bobby fan, uh, Millie Bobby Brown fan, you'll like this. If you're a Bobby Brown fan, you'll like this. If you're a Whitney Houston fan, you'll Was like it this. Better than Code Eight Part Two. I don't remember what happened in that movie, Plus and nine. I remember that this happened. So I'm gonna say yeah. Mm. You just like dragons. I do like dragons. So this is everything Daenerys should have been, but was not. And the weird part, it's it's called Damsel, and we're gonna we're gonna watch some of Critical Drinker's review. I have some footnotes here, and um, he's like talking about it, like, oh, she's a she's got to say she's gonna save herself because she can't. And there's no such thing as a damsel in distress anymore. I'm like, the ch and spoilers, the chick literally gets thrown into a pit to be fed to a dragon and there ain't nobody to save her she gotta save herself and the point of like half of the movie is she's strong women. torture prawns of her just being tortured she oh. just keeps getting hurt not that she's strong women she she doesn't even like and again spoiler she doesn't even kill the dragon doesn't she ride him no what not because she she has a co she uses her feminine wiles on the dragon. She uses her mind and conversation on the dragon to get the dragon. So I'm like, what movie did you watch, Critical Drinker? She because sexes the dragon. She sexes that dragon right up. Oh boy. So let's see what he has to say. We'll comment. Hey, you. Are you tired of traditional fantasy stories of heroism, bravery, and self-sacrifice, and good ultimately triumphing over evil? Are you sick of all those toxic white males presuming to rescue- I want to point out I that she- I hate toxic white males. She literally self-sacrifices. Millie Bobby Brown sacrifices herself in this movie twice, in fact. For the white males. To, not only to save a white male, but to save her white female sister. Wow. women from dangerous situations without even getting affirmative consent first? Do you long for a story that finally gives us a strong empowered female lead who rescues herself and doesn't need a man for anything? Then congratulations! I mean, at no point does she say, I don't need a man for anything. The premise of the movie is that her father basically marries her off to save her kingdom and is like, hey, I need you to take one for the team. <laughs> and she goes... All right, bro, I'll take one for the team. <laughs> so she marries some dude she's never met just to take one for the team. I don't know how that strong female whammons empowerments. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she took one for the team, all right. Because not only have you apparently skipped over basically every movie, TV show, and video game in the last 10 years, but you're almost certainly the target audience for Damso, a Netflix fantasy movie starring... Yeah, and by the way, the, the enemy of this movie is not the patriarchy. It is the queen who's the evil villain of this movie. 
The king doesn't even have two lines in so it. So the women are bad. Yeah. Like, what? I, I don't feel like he watched the same movie that I did. Again, it's not a great movie, but I am definitely concerned that the drinker had too much. And everyone's favorite cereal sober, Millie, Bobby, Billie Jean King, James <laughs> Earl Jones Brown. <laughs> And I've got to. Okay. Is that a clip of her? I don't know. Well, that's too much. What was admit, that? When I first saw the poster for this was. movie featuring a bored looking brown holding a sword that she probably <laughs> struggled to even lift in the publicity <laughs> shot, sporting the proud tagline, This is not a fairy tale. <laughs> I actually assumed it was some piece of AI generated. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. He goes, this He's AI. going hard in the paint. He is going hard in the paint. Let's, let's move to the next section that I have commentary on. Trying to remember it. Anyway, the country's been terrorized by a nasty fire-breathing dragon, so the king does what kings do. Leads a small force of men on horseback armed with melee weapons. Okay, this is true and also dumb. The king goes out with melee a weapons. small force. Correct. This to is melee true. melee the dragon to death. Correct. Just to take it out. Are you dumb or something? Seriously, guys, <laughs> do you actually understand how dragons work or what? Anyway, the mission goes about as well as you'd expect, and everyone gets killed except for the king who kneels. Okay, fair enough. I'll take that. That as part does seem really dumb. It w and the point is, though, this is a uh, a f like a female fairy tale. It's not like, oh my god, dragons are real. This is what they do. Like, okay, it's a f stupid fairy tale. Where everyone gets burned to death. Yes. Right. Seems to be going fine at first. Elodie and Henry get along pretty well and bond over the fact that they're both shallow modern archetypes trapped in a low-budget generic feminist fantasy movie that's all... <laughs> okay, fine. This is uh, Millie Bobby Brown and the Prince. Well, certainly going to damage the careers of every single person involved. Meanwhile, strong, diverse female character wants to meet up with other strong female characters so they can discuss their shared hatred of men and ways that they can overthrow the patriarchy. That is not true. That is not a conversation that happens. Now, yes, Angela Bassett, a black woman, is Millie Bobby Brown's stepmother, but she does, she's only concerned about what's going to happen to Millie Bobby Brown. Like, th she just thinks there's something shady going on. So she questions the queen, and the queen's like, F off, I'm a queen, you're just some stepmother dumb biatch. Oh, boy. So there's no, like, oh, the patriarchy is evil. There's something wrong with the patriarchy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Together, but strong female character isn't interested and tells her to fuck off. Hmm, I wonder what she might be hiding. So the wedding ceremony goes ahead, and then Elodie's taken up into the mountains for an additional secret ceremony far away from any witnesses. Hmm, seems totally legit to me. But then Henry throws her off a bridge in the first genuinely entertaining scene in the entire film. <laughs> I mean, See, it turns funny. out that the dragon made a pact with toxic white male king from the intro after he murdered all of her baby dragons totally unprovoked, and every few decades There's the royal dragons. family has to sacrifice three of their daughters to on- Dead baby dragons. Oh god. Yeah. Well, well, what are you gonna do? Not kill the baby dragons? Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe you let them die. Your call. Or the agreement. But instead, what they actually do is marry girls into the family, mix their blood in the wedding ceremony to fool the dragon into thinking they're from the royal bloodline, and sacrifice them instead. What. The. Fuck. <laughs> so you're telling me that mixing blood through a tiny cut on the hand is enough to alter a person's entire profile and fool a centuries old dragon into believing that they're from a whole different- the dragon is stupid, okay? The dragon's not that smart. Do you is think really? dragons are smart? Mm, they're very regal creatures. They're very dumb, and ju they smear a little blood on this chick, and do uh, you think the dragon cares? You really think the dragon is, like, worried about being Maybe he's allergic by to humans? blood, you don't know. Different right. bloodline? Or that nobody ever found it slightly unusual that young women married into the royal family all mysteriously disappear at regular intervals? Yeah, nobody ever finds out because they're on an island. And all these other people in these masks... You see these people wearing these freaky deaky masks like it's uh, eyes wide shut? Yeah. They're all in on it. So, yeah, nobody knows. In that on this... what? The dragons? No, they're not in on like, oh, this prince keeps marrying princesses and throwing them in the pit. Oh, is that yeah. a thing? 
Yeah, but they're all from like all the girls, and this is what makes like the diversity part not matter that much. There's like princesses from everywhere, like you know, Asian princesses and black princesses. Yeah, because he's got to pull them from everywhere so they don't know that he's feeding them to the dragon. Why is that a criticism? Oh, wait, is that a thing? So basically he just feeds a princess to a dragon? Every for, year they got to feed three princesses to the dragon. So of course what? nobody's going to know. What of do course, they get? Of course the dummy's not going to know, you know, uh, a, a Lodi in her like little crappy kingdom that's about to go uh, bankrupt doesn't know what's going on. But what do they get out of feeding the dragon? Gold. Oh. And the dragon doesn't kill them. Oh. So, yeah. That's why they dress in masks, so you don't know who they are. That's that, like, his criticism is not very good here. Young women married into the royal family all mysteriously disappear at regular intervals. Yeah. Fuck off, film. Anyway, so Elodie's scheduled to be a happy meal for the dragon, but naturally she manages to get away, even though the dragon sets her leg on fire. But even though the dragon likes to toy with people. Like, it's literally a game to the dragon. The dragon's like, oh, I can't wait to eat you, Does you little bird. Does the dragon bird. talk? Yeah, it talks. Wait, really? Yeah, and it's kind of dumb. Oh. It's a dumb dragon. So that's my point, is like, it's dumb. It doesn't know. It's a dumb, hungry dragon. Yeah, what, what do you mean? It's a dumb, hungry it's dragon. A self-important offering at the altar of the message. <laughs> Trying to appeal. To I think he's so obsessed with the message that he doesn't understand anymore what the message is. You know what I mean? Equality. Dragon equality. For Dra all. Yeah, he is missing dragon equality. And I think that's important that you, you understand dragon equality. Yeah, I support it. <laughs> Trying to appeal to an audience of frustrated, middle-aged, borderline alcoholic female <laughs> fantasy Rainbow buffs dragons. that never actually existed in the first place. A film that acts like the last 20 years of entertainment never actually happened, and the concept of a strong, empowered female lead freeing herself from the shackles of the patriarchy, realizing her own power and taking center stage in a male-dominated genre isn't something that's already been done so many times that it's become as tired and... Are you chewing your nails on hair, you weirdo? What is wrong with you? I had a hankering. Played out as the very tropes I'm that laughably thinks it's subverting. Every single aspect of its message is hammered home with all the subtlety of a rainbow colored unicorn covered in neon lights with its horn replaced by an 18 inch rubber dildo oh none boy. of the characters have anything even approaching real personality and now i will say that the like millie bobby brown's character there's not a lot of character arc there I, i'm not gonna say it's the great it's not the greatest movie ever it's not even written that well she woman then she woman being fed to she's dragon. fairly self-reliant nah, and then she figures woman. out that she's very self-reliant like it's not <laughs> I get what he, I, I just don't know that this is like the woke enemy that he's looking for. It's just a mid tier mid Netflix movie starring Millie Bobby Brown, who has a long contract. It's almost like the spaceman. Adam Sandler's like, I would really love to be a spaceman in a serious, not funny movie about a spider that gives me hugs. <laughs> would you like, and then Millie Bobby Brown's like, Adam Sandler has a movie where I where he go, becomes a spaceman and he can get hugs from a spider? Why can't I have a movie where I get thrown down a well and I get to hug on a dragon? How's that sound to you, Netflix? And they're like, let's make it. Spider hugs are tight. You know what I'm saying? Like, why is he... I don't understand. There's no context for him hating this movie. It is hilariously it's not like the worst movie i've ever, the marvels was much worse than this much worse than this so i don't understand why he hates it so much other than he thinks it's got the message and it's like self-reliant girl discovers she's self-reliant but does not physically use she does not physically overpower a dragon to beat dragon she uses her wits and her her conversation abilities to beat said dragon no boy you know what i mean she's, she's the women are all generically powerful confident and commanding angela bassett is not powerful in this movie at all not even a little bit 
So much so that they're completely interchangeable. The men are either useless, weak, cowardly morons that are easily pushed around, or dumb, shallow blockheads who conveniently die as soon as it's convenient to the plots. You know, subverting one set of stale, restrictive tropes doesn't count for much if all you do is replace them with a new set of equally stale, restrictive tropes. I mean, apart from Brown, who gives it her all in yet another shitty production that doesn't- <laughs> She tries very hard. Deserver, most of the cast seem to know the kind of shit tip that they're in, and vow to bring that across with low effort, apathetic performances that feel like they were faxed in. I mean, he's very and this, angry. And that's the other problem, is the other characters are in the movie so little, it's irrelevant. 45 minutes of it are Millie Bobby Brown by herself with the dragon. And the dragon gives a good performance, and she does. What else do you need? It's Millie Bobby Brown getting in a shorter and shorter and shorter skirt, getting wet, getting hurt. Yes, but is she less and less on the top two? What do you mean top two? You know, is she is she showing some belly? Ah, that's a good question. Probably, but maybe not. We would need that. There's some gams. I mean, if you believe for one second that Ray Winston did this movie for anything other than an easy paycheck... I just don't understand where he's coming from. So... Long story short is, I disagree with The Critical Drinker. Having seen the movie for myself, it is not a fantastic movie. It's just fine. But The Critical Drinker goes too far. I just, I feel like he's seeing the message and everything and needs to take a step back. He was just on Piers Morgan. So I think he's smelling his own farts a little bit and needs to be taken down a step. I love the critical drinker. I think he does great reviews, but bro, the message is not omnipresent. It is not everything. This is just a dumb Netflix movie and she doesn't even kill the dragon with a sword. She doesn't chop the dragon's head off. She doesn't kill the dragon. It's it just doesn't happen. She doesn't physically overpower anyone in this. Does she sex the dragon? She does scissor it on occasion. But that being said, I, I just don't, I don't get it. Do you get my point? I was asleep half of that video. Well, you should stay awake because if you stay awake, you could join us and give enough money, which could literally be $12 a year to keep him could be. hepped up on amphetamines so he does stay awake. I need caffeine. I'm a lonely, poor boy and need of caffeine. And uh, you can also catch our full-length audio podcast on iTunes. You can also catch it here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights, and Rumble. All those places and more. Why is there so much hate for this movie? It's a middling movie that doesn't deserve the hate. The woke hate it, and the conservative right apparently hate it. I guess they're conservative. I, I don't want to categorize them as conservative right, but overreactionary critics and i again subscribe to the critical drinker i don't think you shouldn't subscribe to him i think he's a great critic but he's wrong in this one so as for us here at our reviews will kill you we are on to the next one